lovely to see you, Jane. Thanks for talking to Tune Ladies today. Really appreciate it. Jolly good. My pleasure. Is it really, is it really you, Jay, or, or are we in the land of maybe? <laughs> <laughs> We always start. I, I think we're all in a bit of that at the moment, aren't we? With what's going on. <laughs> Definitely. Exactly. How are you, Jay? How, how's life in lockdown? Yeah, it's it's okay. Um, uh, I've had my moments, as I think we all have, because it's all a bit a bit odd. But my house is clean, tidy. I've thrown loads of junk out. I've, I've got loads of stuff to put up on eBay. Things that I've been meaning to get shot off because we can't go to the charity shop because that's still shut. No, I know. Yeah. 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 So, um, no, it's, I've tried to keep busy, you know. Oh, that's good. We've heard that you've been doing the smiling sessions, Jay, during the lockdown as well. Can you tell us a bit more about those? Yeah, it's um, basically for people in care homes to provide some entertainment. Um, you know, usually they have people going around and doing sort of singing and performing and stuff in homes. Um, and obviously the care workers at the moment um, and the residents are having a really tough time. Um, so uh, a few weeks ago we set up the Skirt Rip Challenge, which is to, to donate money to the care workers. And this one is to donate money to the actual residents to be able to buy them sort of tablets and stuff so that they can, you know, be, you know, interactive and not, yeah. you know, watching and things and so there's lots of different um, artists doing it and uh, Cheryl and I are just doing some of the old songs and of course one one classic fizz track <laughs> <laughs> so it's all virtually isn't it you're doing it it's all, all virtual. it's a virtual entertainment for care homes yeah, yeah. and uh, a lot of our 80s artists um actually and, and Katie Tunstall as well um, they're all, you know, diff all different kinds of musicians and artists are getting involved in trying to raise money for this to keep, you know, them, keep their spirits up. Oh, brilliant. Really, really good. What, what's your normal song lineup, Jay, for those? Do you do, do a little bit of Bucks Fizz and some others or? Yeah, I mean, tomorrow we're pre-recording. Um, it's kind of, it's like a run through. Um, I only want to be with you. And then we're doing Making Your Mind Up. Um, but they said there's a whole list of stuff. There's a few really old wartime sort of old songs yeah. like We'll Meet Again and all of that oh. on there. We haven't, chose, we haven't yeah. chosen them all yet, but um, probably a bit too old for some of them, but you know. <laughs> so their message is there. Songs are returned. It's such, such a brilliant thing to do, Jay. It just sounds, and we hear that Basil Brush is doing it too. Yes, well, when we heard that, we went, right, we've got to do it. He's still yeah. going strong, apparently. <laughs> I hear he's had a makeover. He's in a new show for children, isn't he? And he looks oh. a lot more modern. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. good. Jay, Jay, we just wanted to remind everyone who's watching what an amazing career you've had with Bucks Fizz. So seven top 10 hits, 13 top 40 hits, including the brilliant number one hit singles, Making Your Mind Up, The Camera Never Lies, Land of Make Believe. Yes. And of course, winning the Euro song contest in 1981 yeah. for making your mind up the unforgettable skirt scene that we all yeah. loved from, from when we were young. <laughs> that's that's yeah. one of my highlights of life too. <laughs> I remember doing the dance to family and everything. You've been doing Aww. this lockdown haven't you Jay? We saw that you did a challenge, um, a skirt sort of removing challenge for lockdown. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's it's still on and people can still donate. And this that's for the Care Workers Charity. It's just Great. a bit of fun. Yeah. Um, it's just a bit of fun. So we ask people to film them doing this, you know, the skirt rip moment. Yeah. You can use a towel or, a, yeah, you can <laughs> use a skirt, but whatever you fancy. And it's been amazing. We've had so many people send in some very funny clips. We had, we had one, uh, one ripping the skirt off their dog. <laughs> I'm not trying to get that back. Yeah, it was funny, but um, we've had all sorts, and they're still coming in, and so they post them up as a kind of collage. And the idea is that if you've done it, you've donated. You know, if you donate a pound or a fiver, and the idea is that um, the care workers get get they get like a they get five hundred pound each. So you know, you, we've got to do a lot of ripping to, to yeah. just help one. But, um, yeah. but we, you know, we're just keeping it going. That's a challenge for us then, Lee. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Is it true that, that the skirt ripping... It's, it's, 
a difference of opinion in the type of skirt that you and, and Cheryl wanted to wear? Yeah, no, it was, um, well, I thought the mini skirts would get a few more votes, but Cheryl was sure that because it was like a 50s rockabilly song that it should have the rockabilly skirt. So, you know, we were both kind of right. So she went, oh, come on then, you know, we'll rip them off in the middle and then you get what you want. And, uh, and I get what I want. So it was a compromise. And sometimes a compromise can really work. Oh, that's <laughs> fantastic. Is there anything sort of good coming up in the next few months or weeks that you're working on? I know you mentioned the smiling sessions. Are there any other projects in the pipeline at all? Or? We're in limbo. Like all performers, we have no idea. Because the last thing that will go back is like performing in theatres. Mm. Um, and so, you know, it's really tough to be honest because it's all like we just don't know. And mm. we keep people saying what's happened because we've literally, we were on tour and we only did three gigs and the whole tour obviously got, uh, you know, put into lockdown. And so we're trying to move those gigs, but at the moment, most of them are going into next year. So yeah. I can't say other than if people want to have a look at the Fizz official. Um, and you can look at my website, jaston.co.uk, then there's updates will go on there. But we are having things moved all the time. So it's pretty unpredictable. But, you know, hopefully next year things will be back to normal. Yeah. Have you been working on any writing, Jay? Any new music or for, have you just had a break? Um, well, my husband's doing quite a lot of writing and I just sort of throw in a few ideas here and there. Um, but um, I just, put a few of my old albums, my solo albums up um, on eBay actually, uh, with the help of my daughter, who's brilliant at all of that. Yeah. She's very good with the old technicals. And, <laughs> um, uh, and so I've had a lot of requests for certain things, like a vinyl of albums that I've done. So I'm thinking about that. And I might do a, a best of my three albums because I've released about 85 songs in my, you know, under my own name. Yeah. And then, so it's only still close fans that know about it and they all want kind of different things. So I'm just looking at it, you know. Uh, love, might that, do. love your recent song, From Here to Eternity. Is it yeah. Yeah, well, that was with Mike Stock. Um, that's the new album called Smoke and Mirrors. And we were just about to do all the promo for it when everything went, you know, kaput. Yeah. So, uh, so it hasn't probably done what it could have done. But, mm. you know, it's the same for everyone. We're all in the it's same great, boat. Really great song, though. Really Thanks. enjoyed it. Yes, I, I bizarrely... He, he was playing that song, he sort of played the demo, and it was when I was getting my um, cancer diagnosis. Um, and so it was quite tough to go and sing that song because the lyrics so like poignant for what yeah. I was going through. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously yeah. I was just thinking about my daughter. So, um, so then I went back after I had two surgeries um, uh, about at six months later and finished that vocal because some of it was just too emotional to sort of release. So that album is quite a poignant album for me because it sort of charts the beginning and the recovery of my, my cancer, you know, my illness. Um, and um, yeah, it's just kind of crazy. Well, we're so pleased to hear that you made a full recovery now, Jay, and that you're back performing and doing what you love. That's, that's such good news. Thanks. So, and you are, uh, you're looking so yeah, well. It, it's lovely to see. Lovely to see you looking so well, Jay. Thanks so much for the time you've given us today. Amazing. Thanks. My pleasure. Good right. luck. Take care. Hope to see you soon. Keep doing what you're doing. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.